Hey, what's up guys? Kubo TV here. Welcome to the video. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to get notified whenever I post a new video. And for today, we'll be talking about how I can cook 6,000 Balanos meals per day. And to better understand how um, all of this is possible, let's go to videolytics.com. Hey, okay guys, this is uh, videolytics.com and this is the website that I use to calculate how many ingredients do I need to make uh, 6,000 Balanos meals. And uh, so I go here, cooking and imperial cooking. And then there it is, Balanos meal. And I do have 1,700 um, cooking mastery which you could, uh, you could place that here, slow cooking mastery. Okay, let's go back to Imperial cooking, Balanos meal. Okay, now 6,000 Balanos meal is equivalent to 250 Guru cooking boxes. Okay, and then in order to make this, uh, in order to make these, okay, it says here I need, uh, let's say around 2,000 cheese grates in, I, I just buy cheese grated from the marketplace. Um, I gather deer meat. So it says here I need uh, 4,000 deer meat. Uh, but I usually get at least 9,000 uh, deer meat for uh, maybe like an hour of, of, uh, of one hour of uh, meat gathering session. So it's not a problem. Uh, potatoes, I have a lot. I pre order a lot of potatoes. And I also have nodes. So potatoes, not a problem. Cheese, same thing with cheese. I just buy this from the marketplace, not, not an issue. A lot of cheese available. Uh, with eggs, um, it's always on pre-order, but I always get at least 500 eggs per day. And then if I don't have enough eggs, I exchange my golden imperial cooking seal for eggs and if also and if that's not enough that's when i uh use the eggs from my chicken node so i have no i have no problems uh getting the eggs that i need for today uh, so deep frying oil just i just buy this from the mpc uh smoked fish steak always available in the marketplace in sea region I just buy 2,000 a day, not a problem. Um, mineral water, leaf eating agent, sugar, paprika. I just buy this from the NPC. Um, hot pepper, I have two fences, which I plant hot pepper seeds. And I harvest three times a day. I get at least uh, 3,000 hot peppers per day. So again, hot peppers, not a problem. And um, you can buy hot pepper seeds from NPC in, in Calfion. Her name is R. That's A-H-R. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just buy uh, hot pepper seeds from her. So an uh, infinite supply of hot peppers. Not a problem. Um, olive oil, salt, heavy duty packing cord from the NPC. And... Um, okay let's take a look at, in this section here so uh for meat so cheese grating i buy this from the marketplace uh, i cook my own meat croquette and as you can see here i have use i have um i have uh, a check mark on use rare procs and slow cooking so that means uh i'm using the rare procs of meat croquette for balanos meals that's why i only need four thousand deer meat that's why I don't need a lot. So I am sacrificing uh, extra profit. So because when I uncheck this, as you can see here, uh, crispy meat croquette will give me uh, 12 million uh, profit. But I uh, that's that's only 12 million. You know I'm considering that uh, I'll be saving time. So yeah, 12 million for me is negligible. So I just I I will just opt to use it for. For cooking there you go uh, same thing with uh, 
Same thing with beer. Same thing with uh, stir fried vegetables. Oh uh, well, for beer though, I don't slow cook beer since I have a I have an oversupply of potatoes, uh, potatoes, corn, wheat, etc. I have an oversu oversupply of those, so I can just spam beer whenever I want. Uh, but for a stir fried veg, I use the rare procs and I do slow cooking. So yeah, I could uh, do this. Well, I do this all day if I have to. Um, but I always produce more than what I needed, so it it ends up like I I always have a surplus since uh you know I don't have a value pack. I couldn't sell the extra Valinus meals anyways, so I just I just um, hoard a lot of Valinus meals just for Imperials. Yeah, I I mean uh, it came to a point that I don't even have to do this every day anymore. Like, I have enough Balanos meals for one month, currently. So, uh, let me go back to the game to show you. Okay, so currently, I have uh, 304,000 Balanos meals. And, uh, I, yeah, I could afford to uh, not cook for one month. And as you can see, I have uh, 49,000 eggs here uh, I have uh, 24,000 hot peppers 3,000 of the, the the green grade and then the uh, cheese grate in here is all from the marketplace uh, golden smoked fish steak and the smoked fish steak I, I bought them from the marketplace and um, yeah it's uh like I'm, I don't really. Uh, I'm not having any difficulty. Is is what I'm saying. Is what is what I'm getting at. So yeah, six thousand um, Balanus meals is uh, very much doable. Um, and also, I'd like to share to you that I also have uh, like a backup plan. Like for example, for example, golden uh, the smoked fish steak for example is not available or out of stock. Same with cheese grating I do have a backup plan because I, I can make them from scratch uh, so let's just go back to this one so for example cheese grating is not available um, smoked fish steak is for, is out of stock for example so I have to make them myself uh, let's see okay so even if I have to make them from scratch, I only need uh, 5,260 deer meat. So again, not a big deal. Onions, peppers, uh, not a lot. Dried fish, I only need 548. Still, very much doable, guys. Um, uh, your your mastery is the one that will allow you to make the most out of the uh, the ingredients that you have. So if you're if you're uh, if you're slow cooking, you don't need a lot of ingredients. So that's the that's what that's the thing that I like about slow cooking. It's less effort. And um, yeah, that's uh, oh wait, let me show you the. So this is my farm. Um, I'm uh, yeah. So I have a. Uh, Eight fences for magical dry main grass. Uh, that's for uh, the tier nine, tier nine material that I also sell every 14 days. So that's extra income. And uh, yeah, these are my hot peppers. Oh yeah, so I will be uh, harvesting later. There, I'm done with the video. And um, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. That's it for the video. Um, if you have any like questions, you can leave it on the comments below, and I'll try to help you out. Oh, and uh, once again, guys, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. And if you have friends who are new to Black Desert, who are new to cooking, maybe you can share them my video so that you know they'll have an idea on um, on what they should do. Okay. 
All right, so that's gonna be it for me, um, Kubo TV, and see you guys on the next video. All right, take care, guys.